All right, good day. Let's work on this Vedic math, transpose and apply. What we're going to be doing today is trying to solve for these variables, uh, trying to get these variables by themselves. And to do that, what we're going to be using this transpose and apply basically means that we're going to be moving things kind of back and forth across an equal sign. So we're going to be moving things back and forth across an equal sign to get these variables by themselves. In our first example, what we're solving here is for the variable x. So to get x by itself, we kind of need to deconstruct this left-hand side, everything over here. We need to deconstruct it to get this x by itself. And the first thing we want to do is add 6 to both sides. Okay, this transpose and apply to get this negative 6 to kind of move it across an equal sign. What we're doing is we're going to add 6 to both sides. Okay, see what that does is it kind of cancels it out here on the left-hand side. And what we're left with, we have 2x equals 18 plus 6. 18 plus 6 give us 24. Okay, the next step would be to divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. So it's going to be divide by 2, divide by 2. Okay, that cancels out here on the left. What we're left with is x equals 24 divided by 2 gives us 12. So here's our answer, x equals 12. Now, when you're using your Vedic math, your transpose and apply, that here I'm kind of showing you the steps and showing you how to cancel out, okay? Showing you these steps, dividing these steps where you cancel out. Okay, normally you don't need to do all this, um, these kind of intermediate steps when you're using transpose and apply. Mainly you're going to be using it as kind of uh, mental, you're going to be doing this mentally inside your mind kind of as a mental um, type of operation. So here another easy example here we have this 2x minus 14. So transpose and apply, what I need to do is I'm basically doing the opposite operation. Okay, here this 14 is being subtracted. Okay, this 14 is being subtracted. So the opposite operation is to add. 14 to both sides. So you do this mentally. I'm going to add 14 both to both sides. So what I have here is 2x equals 14. Okay, a positive 14. Okay, I simply am, am not showing you those intermediate steps. Now the next step is I need to divide both sides by 2. Okay, so that leaves me x equals 7. See, I'm just not showing you those intermediate steps. That's kind of this idea of transpose and apply. Um, so, you know, here at the first part, I just did this. Okay, the second step, I just did this. Okay, it's transpose and apply. You don't always have to write out these intermediate steps. Um, you could kind of do some of this uh, mentally. You could mentally do these. Let's try another one. Let's see if... Um, Let's see if this works out for you. So here we have this um, 5 over x minus 7 equals 13. So first thing I want to do, I want to add 7 to both sides. Okay, if I add 7 to both sides, it's going to cancel it out here on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm simply moving, I'm basically moving this minus 7, this negative 7, across an equal sign. I have to do the opposite operation. So here's being subtracted. The opposite of that is going to be addition. So we have 5 over x equals 13 and 7. That gives us 20. Okay, now the next step I want to do is I want to multiply both sides by x. Okay, that's going to cancel it out over here on the left. So we have 5 equals 20x. And finally, to get x by itself, we divide both sides by 20. So we get 5 over 20 equals x. And we could reduce that to 1 over 4. So we get x equals 1 fourth. Okay, see, all I'm doing is simply, here at this point, I add 7 to both sides. Okay, cancels it out here. Here I'm multiplying both sides by x. Okay, it cancels it out here, and then at this point, I'm dividing both sides by 20. Okay, cancels it out here. 
And then from this step to this step, I simply reduced my fraction. So this is the idea of transpose and apply. Let's try one more. I'm pretty sure you're going to get the hang of it. It's kind of a simple idea, uh, transpose and apply. It comes in really handy. I use it all the time in my algebra. Uh, this transpose and apply, I think, is the best way to do your, your simple algebraic um, uh, equations. Okay, we're here, here we have 2 thirds times 3x plus 15 equals 0. Okay, to transpose and apply, first thing we need to do is get rid of this, this fraction, this 2 over 3. Easiest way to do that is to multiply it by 3 halves, both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. See what that does is it cancels it out. Okay, and what we're left with on the left, we have 3x plus 15 equals. Now, 0 times 3 halves, anything, any number that I have times 0 equals 0. And I guess at this point I could kind of take down these parentheses. So we have 3x plus 15 equals 0. Now more transpose and apply. What I'm going to be doing is subtracting 15 from both sides. Okay, to get this 15 to move it over, to get rid of it here, basically moving it across an equal sign, just transposing it, I'm going to be doing the opposite operation. So here we're, we're adding 15. Okay, the opposite operation of addition is subtraction. So we subtract 15 from both sides. We have 3x equals negative 15. Okay, to get x by itself at this point, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we have x equals negative 15 over 3. x equals negative 5. There's our answer, x equals negative 5. Okay. So I hope this can help you out, this transpose and apply. It's very useful. I use it all the time when I'm doing my algebra, when I'm solving. Uh, just kind of to keep in mind that to kind of move things across an equal sign, what you're going to be doing is the opposite operation. So if you're multiplying, you want to move that to the other side of an equation, you need to divide. Okay, if you're adding something to move it to the other side of the equal sign, you need to subtract. Okay, that's kind of this idea of transpose and apply. You're going to be doing the opposite operation. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a short video on some Vedic math, how it could be used for algebra. Uh, please press the like button down below. If you like these type of videos, uh, leave a comment and simply subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.